I miss people mostly. I miss my mum. That sounds a bit toddlerish, but in two years, I haven't, I have five years, I haven't seen my mum. Two years, I haven't spoken to my mum. I miss my mum. Even I can just see my mum. Know, I'd like just a phone call. I don't know if Britain can do that for me here, but I'd like just a phone call to my mum. It's been two years. If I can make any requests, I'm probably not in a position to make requests, but anyway, that's it all really. I miss my mum. What else do I miss? I miss pasties. It's not very English, it's sort of Scottish, isn't it? So I miss pasties. And Doctor Who. Mostly. <laughs> Sounds a bit stupid. That's all. The women who are in the, the camps, and it just, there's kids who die in the camps. And if I have to stay here two more years, I'm not trying to make myself seem like some sort of hero. If I have to stay here for two more years and they take back the women in the camps, I don't mind the only. But it's just, it seems, it's just, I, I feel, it feels a bit ridiculous now. So if my request is anything, it's that they change this policy, they do something. You know, I don't think I'm going to be given you know, any back to Britain, for example, or some you know, Canadian official is going to come and help me, because, like I said, no one really cares. You know. You're a dual national. Supposedly. I did at one point in my life have a Canadian passport. I don't know if it's still valid. So are you, do you feel British? Do you feel Canadian? I feel um, British. I'm British. So my you dad's want to Canadian. go back to the UK? If the UK accepted me, I'll go back to the UK. It's my home, but I don't think that's going to happen. So what did you think when you heard that it had happened? To be honest, the only, like I said, I don't want to, you know, if I'm going to start a new part of my life, I don't want to start it on a lie. You know? To be honest, at the time, I, I thought it was a good thing. Not that people that had nothing to do with it got killed. That was, and they're probably going to edit that bit out, I don't know. But genuinely, any. You know, at the time, we had this idea that when you're living in Raqqa, you're getting bombed every five minutes by uh, coalition jets, and you see literally, I've seen children burnt alive, you know, and I was probably going to upset, probably annoy some people, but the truth is the truth, you know, I've seen coalition jets kill children, you know. At the time, you have this sort of, and this is what war does to you as well, you have this idea of, oh, why shouldn't it happen to them? Do you know what I'm saying? And you have this idea, why shouldn't it happen to them? But then I realized that they have nothing to do with it. 